Welcome back. We are having our third conversation this morning. And as we mentioned, this one's for you sweet toots. Uh, the conversation, of course, will be about Sugar Bar, and we have here with us the owner, Nadia Waite, to talk to us about it. Good morning, Nadia, Good morning. and thank you Good for morning. joining us. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about your business, Sugar Bar. Uh, what, what is it that you make? I see we have some chocolates here on display, but I imagine it's more than just chocolate. So Sugar Bar BZ is a venture that I created, and I have this business running at the comfort of my own home. So I have a few different treats that I do provide, which are chocolate-covered strawberries, chocolate-covered breakable hearts, and any treat that you could really think about that has that involves chocolate. Or um, I also do offer healthier options for more health-conscious customers as well. What made you get into the business of desserts, making desserts? So believe it or not, it was something that I just picked up and learned. I was talking to my friend about a business idea and. It just came up, so I decided to just do more research and find the supplies to start making it. And in like a month, I learned how to make a few treats, and then I opened my own business. I, what I see here is that you have you take a unique approach to, mm -hmm. uh, for example, birthday uh, presentations and birthday treats. Mm -hmm. uh, how did that concept come to be? Well, I noticed that they didn't really have any. First, specifically, like the uniqueness of the breakable hearts. I didn't really see that much in Belize at all, actually. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I saw it a lot on social media, and I decided to, you know, invest in the different um, molds and what's not to make these breakable okay. treats. And it's, you can still put your creativity into it as much as you put it into a cake or any other dessert. So, And you even brought it here to show our viewers what exactly you get or what exactly is a breakable treat. We have here on display, of course, some strawberry covered, some chocolate covered strawberries, and uh, an example of what your breakable chocolate would look like. Now, what's inside of this here? Well, in this breakable heart, I have candy, mm -hmm. but honestly, I give the creativity to my customers to just put whatever they want inside. Yeah. They could okay. give me an advance and I, and I place it inside. For Molding them. something like this, what's the challenge? It is very difficult. Yeah. Um, so it requires a lot of application. Like you have to make sure that you put enough layers and stuff like that so that it's sturdy because in Belize we have a, like the humid weather. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's easier to melt. So I try to make sure it's more sturdier for like out district um, customers for orders if like you order out district. So I just make sure it's more sturdy and what's not. It comes with a little hammer. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Paul, I'll give you the honor to break it, okay? Are we going to break it? Yeah, we, we get to break, break it, right? It, yes. Okay, so I'm going to hold it, and then you break it. So this, there's a surprise inside for this one. Yeah. And this is a great gift for mom or for whoever. I'm just testing yeah. the, the durability of it first before I see how much strength I have to use. Yeah, to careful. It, don't, right? don't hurt me now. Okay. You just have to. All right, so I need Thor Hammer strength. I'm okay. just kidding. <laughs> Advice. Ooh. Okay. She's okay. tough. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't worry, I'm not using a lot of strength. Oh, there you go, it's Okay, breaking. it's breaking. Ooh. I want to get another area to break. Ooh. I guess it's just the experience as well yeah, that's really yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> you sure you got any strength? I, I know, right? <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, wow, okay. And there's like two layers here. Oh, look Ooh, at that. Oh, look at that. There's just a fun experience as well in this process. Right? You, That's you, don't really cool. let, you don't often get to destroy, but you're, we're done. Uh, you want to destroy more, Paul? I want to see what's inside. Can we inside? talk about what's going on? <laughs> so inside, there's an assortment of different candies. Um, mm. I'm not sure if you want to lift could it eat, up. Can you eat the chocolate? Yeah, yeah. everything is edible. Everything is yeah. edible. That, I mean, Even the try. words on top, it's fondant, so you can eat it. How is Do it you like good? chocolate? I love chocolate. Really Does good. chocolate love me though? I'm kidding. <laughs> Do you okay. make your own chocolate? No, I get I get my chocolate. I try to get quality chocolate as well, yeah, so it's really good. tasty. Yeah, it's really good. So, this is white chocolate. Mm -hmm. Do you do like a dark chocolate? Breakable? I do. I do dark chocolate break like dark dark chocolate strawberries or breakables for more of the clients that prefer a healthier option. Mm -hmm. So that you know they're not excluded from the experience as well. That's so. really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It takes cakes to a whole new level 
in terms of gifting to a whole gifting new level. to a whole new level so we know that this is a great option for i um, you can see there it was an it was a gift for mom um but this can really be for anyone uh i can see this being an option for a guy as well yeah you know if you're not trying to get something too feminine this is a great option now let's talk about how long you've been doing this so i started in i actually did my first sale October 2022. Okay, that's all. So I've been doing it for a while now. And how has it been, how has it been going? It's been going good. I've been introducing new um, products to my market, and um, I'm trying different stuff. So I actually just started making chamoy fruit bowls. It's oh, something nice. different, but um, I just want to have more variety and you know add on more stuff as I go. So who, who or what inspired you to become an entrepreneur? Well, I'm actually a business major, so I've, from high school, I've always been trying to find ways to start up my own business, so I saw this as a good idea, and I honestly took the risk, and I feel like I really enjoy what I'm doing. So what we saw on the screen there just a moment ago was Ooh, the chamoy bowl. Yes. What, is, what, what, what are the ingredients of that? So I give my customers the opportunity to pick out four fruits of their choice, Okay. and this bowl contains also three candy options and it has chamoy and tahin and different ingredients that mm. I put on top so it's more like spicy and what's not. And tangy. Yeah, tangy. That's my type of like junk yeah. food right there. Have that. you always been into sweets? Like did you yes. grow up liking sweets? I actually, I, my first job was at this place called Munch Cup which was my best friend's mom's business. So mm -hmm. I actually worked there and she had different, the, similar to the chamoy bowls and the candy and the smoothies and what's not. Mm -hmm. So I've always been into making stuff. Sabrina, I propose we try the strawberry covered Sure, chocolate. yeah, Just definitely. To... Not us here <laughs> eating up all. No, 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 because we want to give our viewers some honest reviews, right? Yeah, they, they absolutely. Got, they got to know, they got to know. It's, I mean, it's so this only is right. Strawberry, chocolate covered strawberry. And yeah. these here on top, what is that? Fondant. Fondant. Oh, fondant. Yeah. Oh, I, look at I, that, I imagine guys. you so have pretty. to be really uh, creative and meticulous in your process here yeah. to, to get these the way they are. Right. Now, to get something like this, you can't keep it out too long, right? Because the chocolate yeah. will melt. Unfortunately, it? Um, it can't stay out too long, but I have been, I was a bit nervous starting to like deliver um, orders like this out district, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's been going great so far, so. What's the vision for you? You're starting here with some really nice designs for mm -hmm. the cakes, and then the chocolate-covered strawberries. Do you plan to take this uh, further? Uh, what's, what's your thoughts and your vision at this point? You say you're doing it from inside your home right now, right? Yeah, for right now, yes, but I'm still studying, so I plan on finishing that first, and then hopefully, if my business continues to grow, then I would, of course, you know, take it to the next level because it's something that I've learned to really, really enjoy. So I really I like um, that uh, strawberry-covered chocolate, uh, that, that sourness uh, that you get from the mm -hmm. strawberry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then it's punctuated with the sweetness of the chocolate. I want to show our yeah, viewers what really exactly balanced. Really nice. we just had. This is so pretty, guys. Look at that. And it's kind of like... I want to say healthy, but also not very healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a good mix. <laughs> it's a good mix, right? It's, a, it's, it's one of those things. What has uh, this experience taught you about business? Well, um, it's taught me a lot of things because in the beginning, it was definitely hard just picking up a trade and learning how to do something that you've never done before. Mm -hmm. But I always um, encourage my friends and other people who want to start bus like a business to just take the risk and you can learn to do pretty much anything. So just, you know, I've learned to build my confidence in my product and, you know, yeah, that's pretty much what I've learned from what's this experience. Your, what's the most favorite thing to make of all of the items that you provide? My favorite thing to make is the chocolate covered strawberries. Mm. And I do recommend that you get the milk chocolate covered strawberries because that's honestly my favorite and I feel like it's a good mix as well. So mm -hmm. that's my favorite to, you know, do. And what I'm what I what I'm getting, Sabrina, is that you do uh, these packages for any and every type every of event. Every occasion. Any every event, occasion. Yeah. And I try to because like I try to promote it more. So I try to make sure that I have sales so that people know what's coming up or updating people on different, 
events that are happening or you know you could literally purchase this for any so event, if you have a anything. birthday a wedding business, meet, anything. business meeting anything. anything you could actually get one yep. of these and and it doesn't only come in the white chocolate color and the no. dark chocolate color yeah you can get any color that you like and i try to you know be flexible with my customers and i enjoy when they give me projects to do that are like different because mm -hmm. then i get to like you know like, try new things yeah. How how uh, much in advance do you recommend persons order something like this? Because I, I imagine the mold takes a minute. Well, I recommend customers to, well, I ask them to at least give me a two to three day notice because to like get the strawberries and what's not since we don't really get those often in Belize. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I recommend two to three days. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about the pricing of, of some of your products because your chamoy bowl, I know, will appeal to a totally different Ooh, that is type true. of uh, uh, palette. Mm -hmm. for, for persons who don't really like the sweets, they'd probably jump to the, to the chamoy. But um, what, are the, what are the pricing looking like for both of them? Well, for the fruit platters, I kind of put that idea out there because I wanted to cater to a different market. Mm -hmm. So I feel like a lot of people are really liking it and coming to my page for it because it's something that is different and it's affordable as well. When it comes to the chocolate covered treats and what's not, it's a little bit more pricey because it's harder to get. So I feel like, and also the time that it takes to make the, the treats. So I feel like it ranges from about $20 to like $60. It, it really depends on how much you, you know, you, you put into it. Yeah. What do you yeah. think about that? I, think that's I don't think that's affordable. bad at all because if you look at the size of that, you get quite a few items in there. Yeah. You get your fruit, you get your chamoy, and you get some candy too. No, but that's that's for the cakes or for the chamoy? For the chamoy, it's more on the lower. So the yeah. price oh, oh. the lower, yes. yeah. Oh, so the, so the, the 20 to 60 is a, oh my gosh, yeah, that's even I'm, better. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. Okay. For so, everything combined, that's just the range of pricing. Yeah. That's good. So I, I mean, that's really good. Yeah, that's that's almost no the price. No excuse, guys, that's, for that's, not gifting your loved one something as cute as that. That's almost the price you pay for a regular birthday cake, like mm -hmm. the way traditional birthday cake yeah. if you want to Or if you, that. for instance, for persons who would go about buying a bouquet, this would be a great replacement, a, a great option. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. I think that's a good idea. That. I've that. actually done the bouquets with the strawberries and it was a really good Have you? You know? Yeah. Okay. So I can go to you with an idea and, and even if it's not available on your catalog, are you open to executing that? I am always open to new ideas and new, you know, I love when my customers give me something different and mm. creative to like do. And I always tell my customers that I am willing to update them on the order. I always try to send them pictures and to make sure, you know, color scheme is correct and everything. So that they could really enjoy their you know their the product that I'm giving them. I think the I think the the challenge here is that uh, customers will begin to come and and say well hey I like the heart shape but I want another shape. How how will, will you would you be able to yes. approach that to I say actually, yeah. somebody say I want uh, I don't know let's say a chair for example or a letter or a letter yeah. uh, a, a B for example mm -hmm. Would you be able or willing to take on those types of I challenges? I actually tried new, like different molds and what's not, and I've tried Hello Kitty molds. I've tried uh -huh. Easter egg molds. I just did one for Easter, mm -hmm. where it's like an egg that has the candy inside the same way. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. I'm always willing to try new things. Yeah, yeah. and that's incredible because to, to even give it to children mm -hmm. that loves a character, for example, and to let them know, hey, this is chocolate. And when you break into it, there'll be so many treats inside. I think it's the experience as well that you get. Let's talk about what's also displayed on the screen there, because that looks like something that you can design on your own. What is that? Is that something that you offer too? Well, this is something that I offered for Easter, but I was definitely considering it, like to put it on my menu, because I know a lot of kids want to, you know, like do mm. their, make their own, design yeah. their own strawberries. And I feel like it's something, you know, different. Mm -hmm. So, um... I definitely will consider putting that on my menu because it's something different and fun for kids or even, you know, when you're having a date or what's not. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. For persons who would like to reach out to you and uh, inquire about all of the amazing things that they saw on the screen and, of course, experienced here with us, how can they do so? Well, you can contact me on Facebook or Instagram and um, at sugarbar.bz. So that's how you can. And as you mentioned, you also ship countrywide? Mm -hmm, correct. Yeah. Wow, okay. 
Wonderful. Do you have any final words that you'd like to share with our viewers as it relates to your business? It could be some words of encouragement or advice to upcoming entrepreneurs. Um, of course, anything that you'd like to mention with our viewers. Okay, of course. So um, I've been doing a few collaborations lately with local businesses. And I just want to I'll tell a lot of entrepreneurs are, that are starting that they can feel open to contact me to do collaborations because I feel like it's a good way to get out there and you know it's a lot of exposure so I have a few collaborations with a few local businesses mm -hmm. so look out for that and yeah all right Wonderful. thank you so much Nadia we appreciate you stopping by showing us just some of the amazing things that you can get from your business and we wish you all the best thank you thank you so thank much thank you so much all right, we're going to take our final break. And when we come back, just like the scabble, we will be defending the city this weekend with our friends, the Belize City Defenders. Stay with us. We'll be right back.